chin is part of the pathway, if you will, from the neck to the face. While we spend a lot of time on phones looking at ourselves from front view, the chin is critical in the profile as well. Today, we have multiple options for improving the profile through the chin. That ranges from the most surgically oriented one, which is called a sliding genioplasty. It's probably the most sophisticated and beneficial of all the treatments because not only are you bringing the chin forward to improve the profile and the proportion to the lip and the nose, but you're also deepening the structures of the neck by advancing that chin. Chin implants are very easy, very reliable to use. Typically, I prefer to use them in older patients because of its ease. We've now had advances in facial fillers, and there are some long-term robust fillers that can make the chin look better almost to the degree of a chin implant. We are now looking at helping the area right underneath the chin. All we used to be able to do was a facelift or liposuction. Today, cool sculpting is able to freeze some of the fat to improve the soft tissues a little bit. The chin can make your profile. The chin can improve your smile. The chin can help self-esteem. And we now have both surgical and non-surgical improvements that I think will become more and more popular as time goes on.